Uh, welcome back to Paramedic Project, uh, Building Better Paramedics right here. Today we're talking about assessing patients with limb injuries. Uh, and I'll give you my practical tips uh, around doing this, uh, doing this thoroughly, doing this well. We talked about doing a secondary survey already, we talked about exposing uh, the patient so we can visualise visualize the anatomy and also palpate the anatomy. Of course we need to do that with limb injuries. Uh, a couple of other tips I'd like to, like to uh, share with you. A uh, big thing we need to also do is communicate really clearly with the patient what we're doing. You know, these patients, we want to complete uh, what's called neurovascular ops on these patients. We want to assess uh, their neurologic function distal to the injury, uh, and we also want to assess their perfusion distal to the injury as well. So the way we assess neuro, uh, neurologic function distal to the injury is, is by asking the patient to, to move the extremity, wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, uh, move the ankle, uh, just to see if there's actually uh, intact neurology uh, distal to whatever injury uh, has occurred. So that's the first thing we need to clearly communicate with the patient. We also need to ask them about sensation in that limb, not just motor control, but sensation as well. Does it feel normal to the patient? Is there any tingling? Then we can touch different aspects of the limb gently as well and, uh, and uh, ask them to respond and uh, whether they can feel it, whether it feels normal, whether there's any altered sensation there as well. That's really the assessment of uh, of the neurology uh, of that limb. Uh, second thing, we've already talked about exposing, visualising and palpating the patient. Of course, once again, a harp on, on the exposure note, of course, with consent, keeping the patient warm and, uh, and doing it uh, respectfully. So we have to do that. Um, but the big thing then is, uh, is to compare it to the opposing limb. So if we've got one leg we've exposed, but the other leg is still covered up, we probably need to expose the other good leg as well. And, uh, and really, look at them to compare. Compare the colour, touch both legs to, uh, to compare the temperature and then, uh, and then we can uh, look at general perfusion of that limb as well. So to really assess uh, our uh, vascular tone or, or how well that limb is being, being perfused, we need to compare it to the, uh, to the unaffected limb as well, be that arms or legs. So then my tips, communicate clearly, expose, visualise and palpate, but then also uh, expose and uh, visualise and palpate the unaffected limb so that we can really uh, we can really see what's normal for the patient on that unaffected limb. So uh, thanks again for joining us and uh, find us on, on find us on social media and we'll see you next time.